morning everybody. It's Vlogmas Day 2. dark and where's my little princess let's put the tree alfie left this morning at 5 a.m i was like bye he woke me up to say goodbye because obviously i wanted to hello hi princess coming out of your sleeping dwelling come on then good girl you had a big sleep you had such a big sleep today. Come on, this way. She always tries to run off without going to the toilet. Come on then, then we'll get breakfast. Go on. Good girl. Um, so Alfie went um, off this morning at 5 a.m. And um, ooh, wee -wee. And then I went back to sleep because I was so tired last night. It was actually it was actually kind of unreal how tired I was. I think I got too excited through the day and it just wore me down. I was like, do you know what? I need to go to bed. I'm just too tired. Oh, she's seen a bird. Oh god. Oh goodness. No, no. This is her little box that we put her breakfast in. And we do have to actually weigh it out because Pugs put weight on very easily, which is in here. Mmm. There we go. Half now, half later. Can you hear her? <laughs> She's like moaning. She's like, no, I want my breakfast. Nala, that's not how you ask for breakfast. We do it nicely and kindly. Wait. Wait. Good girl, wait. Go on then. Good girl. Oh, the desperation. <laughs> the desperation for some food. Now I really want some squash because I feel really thirsty. You know when you feel like squash is the only thing that can quench your thirst? That is what I have right now. Yummy! I was watching an old, um, not an old one, but it was Tanya's Vlogmas from last year. And she poured herself a glass of orange and pineapple squash. And as I watched her doing it, I like my mouth like salivated and I was like I need some orange and pineapple squash and since then I've been like addicted to it. If you weren't thirsty before, I bet you're thirsty now. Why is it so blue in here? The smell where you open the door and you've had your Christmas tree in there all night and it smells of Christmas tree. That is what this smells like. Oh my goodness. How am I going to open this? Ugh. There we go. Ah. Yeah. Now look. Yay. Look. It looks so lovely. I need to um, water it though. For sure. So let's find a little jug. Where's my little jug? The tree we had last year. Ooh. That's a good thing to water a tree with, right? It's a vase, but yeah, that'll do. Um, the tree we had last year, let me just put you down again. The tree we had last year was from B&Q and it was awful. <laughs> it died after like a week. Um, so we're not really too sure why it died. I thought I overwatered it, but apparently you really can't overwater uh, over a Christmas tree. So I don't really know what happened. I think maybe it had just been cut for a really long time before we bought it. So the needles just kind of went brown and dropped off. But this, I'm wanting to keep alive for a long time. Plus it was literally chopped down the day we got it, so hopefully it will be okay. So I think my task for today is to put all the foliage and the holly up on like the mantel pieces and things, so then it's all like fully Christmassy. Oh, and now that Alfie's gone away, we can't do this until he gets back. So he's gonna have like 
a full on treasure hunt in the house when he gets back on Sunday. Um, but yeah, this has to resume on pause now, which is a shame, never mind. However, I can do my advent calendars, so that is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do this one first. Let me see. Where's number two? Here. Little train. Oh no, what is that? A fire engine. It's cold outside, don't forget your bubble hat. What does a fire engine have to do with Christmas, guys? Is it like a toy? <laughs> oh, oh, mm. There we go, pop those back. Then we've got Nala's. Alfie gave one of his to his mum. So now he's got one. Right, Nala, this is for you, remember? Right. You just snotted all over it, I can see that. Where's number two? No. There, this one. Can you see it? What is it? Little bones again. Look, puppy. You gonna sit? You gonna sit? Good girl. Sit, sit. Oh, down. Oh, <laughs> she's so like excited that she can't like cope. Okay, down. Good girl. <clears throat> this is proving to be very successful. How cute is that? Let's put this back. We can have another one tomorrow. That must be what it's like with kids. They're just like, can we have another one? Can we open another day? Let's go and edit. You're gonna come with me? Need to edit yesterday's vlog, which I'm pretty sure I had about an hour's worth of footage of. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, and then I just need to get my 24 days of Zoella video ready. And then I can start the day properly. Just uploading video and Muppets Christmas Carol is on, which is like my fave. It's at the end now though, which is a shame. Um, and little Nala's next to me. Oh, it's very dark. Watching the telly as she always does. Look at her. She's so cute. Tired. Aww. Are you having the best day? Watching Christmas films while I edit. Is it so fun? Especially since you can sleep on the bed. <laughs> She's like, bitch. Don't disturb me, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm just letting Nala back in. Come on then. Good girl. Taking her out for the toilet. And myself and Poppy, just pick, turn the Christmas tree lights off. Myself and Poppy are going to go food shopping because I have zero food in the house and me and Alfie were gonna go and then Alfie's gone to Singapore. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I think I need some food. Okay, we're gonna give you a treat if you go in your pen. Into the pen. Good girl. She's so good. There you go. Let me get your water. I need to find my bags. My little bags for life. So I can take those to Waitrose. Okay, here's your water, pup. That's it, good girl. I'll be back in an hour. I really enjoy food shopping. I don't know about you guys, but I really love it. It's just something about it. So maybe I'll give you a little food shop haul when I get back. Let's just check I've got everything I need in my handbag. You know, like keys, tissues, because I've been so poorly. Uh, my keys, purse would be good. Have I got a purse in here? I've got some Tic Tac. Where's my purse? There it is. 
got it all. Hey, let's hit the road. I'm also going, did I say I was going poppy? I think I did. God, I'm going crazy. For oh, goodness sake, we get so many deliveries in this house. Oh, on a normal day, let alone when it's nearly Christmas. I feel like the deliveries have like times 100. Right, where are my cute little Marks and Spencer bags? Because they are the ones I want to take because they're so freaking cute. Oh, is that them? <laughs> this is a room you don't normally see in any videos. It's called the room where we dump lots of shit that gets, there they are. Yay! My cute M&S bags! Going to Waitrose though. Sorry Waitrose, it's just that M&S do way better like bags for life than you guys. But that's okay. I like to alternate between the two to be fair. To be fair to them. Okay, I'm ready. <gasps> Look, a little bit of mistletoe. <laughs> Got nowhere to kiss under the mistletoe though. Alfie ain't here. I feel like I've forgotten something because I've been vlogging the whole time I've been getting ready, but I think I have everything. I don't know whether two bags would be enough though. We all know what I get like when I go food shopping. Oh no, now I need a wee. <laughs> Poppy's gonna be like, where the hell is she? Sorry Poppy, I needed a wee. And, oh. I'm gonna take the TK Maxx one because it's a big old boy. It's wee time, and I'm really sorry, but I'm not taking you with me while I have a wee. And in case you wanted to know what I keep in this car, I'll tell you, a lot of sweet curry sauce from McDonald's and a half-eaten Maltese reindeer and a heck load of receipts. Let's go. It's me. Hello, <laughs> it's me. Oh, look at your Christmas tree and your mistletoe. And then we're going to hang it tonight and then we're going to put the mirror up. Lots of house Oh, stuff a new alive. mirror. Hello. And we've got our piece over there. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I do. It's really cool. Very nice. I like this that Poppy's got. <laughs> oh, look, the shelf fell down <gasps> last night. <laughs> Like DIY to do today. Did it fall on your MacBook? Uh, oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> it looks okay. <laughs> oh no, I just heard it clank and then Sean picked it up. I think. Where are we, Pop? <laughs> yeah! Let's get a trolley. Yes, festive food. <laughs> Five versions of this. <laughs> yeah. I also hope you wear that hat every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like I need to get a big trolley, you know. I always make the mistake of going for a small one. Right. If I get this one, do you want to sit in here? Christmas trees. <clears throat> I tell you what's really useful, those wreath hangers. You put it over your door. So you put that over the door and then the wreath hangs off of that. Would that work on my front door though? Probably, yeah, it would. We've got one like that on our door. Oh, has it? Where are you going to hang the string from though? A nail? Yeah. Maybe. Look at this that Poppy's just found. Oh I said it looks like a dinosaur, like, back. Do you know it's what really I mean? It's pretty though. Yeah. I don't know, it's like a broccoli. I reckon it, yeah, I reckon it's like a broccoli. It looks similar. Oh, let's get some little baby corns. Pop, have you made a wrong choice today? In your in your trolley selection. Yeah. So when I said I'm gonna get a big one, I was like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a big one. Look at her trolley. So upsetting. <laughs> I've got quite a selection of things in here: mini marshmallows, some mm -hmm. dog food, some eggs, <laughs> some frosties. I haven't had frosties in so long, so I was like, oh, I want to get some frosties. And I've also got honey nut Cheerios because I haven't had those in a really long time either. 
and then lots of boring adult stuff like fabric softener and capsules for washing and all that sort of all that sort of boring stuff. I have to put this in your trunk. <laughs> Go for it. Then Poppy's having a party, so she's getting loads of really fun stuff. By the way, you're all invited. <laughs> she lives that. <laughs> you've been in Waitrose a long time when you get out and it's dark <laughs> I think as we were at the checkout the woman was like oh well I hope you have a good party how <laughs> awkward would it be if you weren't actually I mean I wasn't I won the 10 bags of crisps that were mine <laughs> I'm not actually having a party <laughs> but what else I am back from shopping um, and now is the time I have to Ooh. I've got a text. Oh, it's Lydia. What does she say? I'm so well of your new video, but your new video is the best thing ever. Oh, thank you, Lydia. That's very sweet of you, you little cutie. So, I am just about to put all this away. I'm actually watching Tanya Bear's Vlogmas. We pretty much had the exact same first day of Vlogmas, which is so funny. Me and Tanya are very, very similar. I've just put mine live about 20 minutes ago, and so far, you're all absolutely loving it. You really love the intro, which I'm so, so pleased about. Basically, this year, I wanted an intro. I feel like I need to put you somewhere while I chat. There we go. This year I really wanted an intro that was like super fun and just something a bit different because most of my intros have just been like cute little Christmassy up close shots of like fairy lights and stuff. And I was like, do you know what? Like, I think this year I'm gonna just pay somebody to do like really good ones. So we got a company on board called Rainimation or Rainimation, Rayanimation. It's really hard to say, Rainimation. Um, and I've got their links in the description box of the videos if any of you want to use them for anything. Um, but they've been so good. They were like the nicest people to work with. And the intro for this video is so much more in depth than you probably think. Like all of those things have actually been cut out of cardboard and it's like being filmed. It's probably got a, a proper name, but I don't know it because I'm not in that field of work. But like they basically made all the sets and made everything and kind of when you could kind of see the strings that Nala's on as she goes down into the chimney um, and it's, it was like a whole set and it's just the coolest thing ever. He actually emailed me a couple of like behind the scenes shots which I'll put into this video and I think they're making like a behind the scenes of them um, making it but every day I got an email from them with an update. I was so excited to see it. I just absolutely love it. I'm so obsessed with this. So cute. So I'm so glad you're all loving it. Yay! task of putting away the shopping and I hate doing this when Alfie's not here because normally we do this as a team because because why does one of my eyes look smaller than the other in this light maybe it is mm, I don't know <laughs> so yeah normally we do it in, as a team and I get it all out and put it into like fridge section cupboard section freezer section etc etc or everywhere else in the house ie toilet rolls and bleach but I got to do that and put it away because I'm not very good at putting it away. Alfie's like human Tetris man and he makes everything fit and puts everything in the right categories and I'm not very good at that. So I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, sorry Alfie if you're watching but uh, this ain't going to be as good as when you do it. <laughs> also, eating these which Mark brought round, Mark Ferris. Um, when he came over and we filmed, he brought me these because he's just the nicest guy ever and obviously knows me all too well. Salted caramel and chocolate cookies. So I'm also munching these whilst putting away the shopping, whilst watching Tanya's first day of Vlogmas. It's going to be so hard because I feel like this year everyone is doing Vlogmas and there are so many amazing ones that I really want to watch. Um, and so many people put theirs live at five as well, so it gets to five and I'm like... <gasps> 
but I have so many I want to watch and obviously I watch Anna and Jonathan's videos every day and I just don't really have time right now because I'm uploading two videos a day and trying to like be Christmassy and have fun which is obviously the whole point of the run up to Christmas is to do all these really fun things and because I just bloody love them. I feel bad for all of you that have a list as long as your arm of vlogmases that you want to watch like there's no pressure to watch mine first, but watch mine first, okay? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not. I am, though. I actually am joking. I'd love to know who your favourite people to watch Vlogmas. That doesn't make sense. That's not a sentence. I'd love to know who your favourite people to watch during Vlogmas are. So, for those of you who like to see what people buy when they go food shopping, and I am one of these people, so I'm not here to judge, um, I just thought I'd give you a hugely quick rundown before I try and Tetris this in the fridge of the stuff I picked up today. So, in the grown up boring stuff, we've got some fairy platinum all in one, some fairy non-bio for washing. I'm a big fan of fairy, it seems. Vanish gold, Harpic shine bleach. I think this has got mint in it, which excites me. Comfort creations. Okay, so I actually was a bit excited about these, not gonna lie. So these are fabric softeners or fabric conditioners and I've never come across these scents before. Blended by perfume experts, I've gone for bluebell and bergamot and mistletoe and crocus and they both smell amazing so I'll be really happy if my clothes smell like this. But also, don't you just find that when you have a really lovely fabric conditioner or fabric softener, once you've washed your clothes and you've got them out to dry, your whole house smells of it so it has to be a nice smell. That's my take on it anyway. Um, I also picked this up for Amanda just to see if Buzz likes it. Um, it's Lily's Kitchen which is the same as the advent calendar. Uh, oh yeah, these looked cool. I saw these in there. Little tiny like pizzas. But they looked pretty cute. So I just picked those up to keep in the freezer. And then some little calzones. Honey Cheerios and... Frosties, some profiterole rolls because look how amazing these look. These are going to be hard to get in the fridge. Um, some nocci, and this looks delicious. Cherry tomato, basil, and mozzarella flatbread. Carrots, which always remind me of the carrots in Matilda that go flying through the air um, at her brother. <laughs> um, some Cathedral City cheese, some bacon, mashed potato. Got two of those. Greek yogurt, full fat, yummy, yummy. Hummus, spinach, ham, uh, tender stem broccoli, these which look nice, chicken on crew with cheese and bacon sauce, um, some celery, bananas, mango, tomato and mascarpone sauce, whoa, which just opened, some really sweetly flavoured peppers, I love sweet peppers, olives, um, a little bag of apple, uh, Sweets and more sweet peppers. I bought some um, Just Roll Short Crust Pastry, which, FYI, if you really want to make mince pies but you don't have a lot of time and you're not very good at making pastry, just buy this. It, it will literally take you like 10 minutes, probably less than that, because you roll it out, you cut it, you put it in. Easy peasy. Uh, but next to it, they had this, which is um, Just Roll Bake It Fresh Six Cinnamon Swirls. So I think you literally just cut them, put them on a tray and whack them in the oven. So I thought that would be quite cool, quite a nice thing to do if I'm feeling peckish or got people coming over. Got a little chicken, leek and ham and thyme pie. Oh, I got these. These just look delicious. Dairy milk, snowy delight, pots of joy. <laughs> Who doesn't want those? Tomatoes. Oh my God, I want to eat some of those now. Um, some little... Baby corns, I got this yogurt which is toffee, I just really like toffee yogurts. Some cream for hot chocolates, a salted caramel dessert, some Rolo yogurts. I love Rolo yogurts so much and whenever I've got them, I just, I'm so excited to eat them. So I was like, oh I haven't had those in a while, let's get some of those. Also got chocolate orange pot and a sticky toffee pot, pudding pot. Some tomato ketchup, some dairy, some croquet potatoes, some jams, milk, some juice, we've got uh, apple juice, pressed apple with elderflower and apple juice with ginger, bread, 
mini white marshmallows. I did actually buy some of these yesterday from the garden centre, but Alfie took them to Singapore with him. So I bought some more, and that's for hot chocolate. Um, a couple of little like breakfast, um, breakfast, uh, what are they called? Breakfast bar things. Um, some Heinz beans with pork sausages because they are delicious. Some spices because at this time of year I just feel like everything has all of these in them. So I got some more because I was running out. Some rolls because I really, really want to do another halloumi and sweet pepper burger with spinach and hummus because they are delicious. Might do that for dinner tonight actually. Um, Food Doctor multi seed cereal pitters. They are amazing. Some baguettes. Some Dettol wipes. Um, I was saying to Poppy how these are my favourite thing ever, the apple scented ones, love. Um, just some snacky bits for when people come round. These, oh my goodness, these are the most delicious thing you will ever, ever eat. I bought a box of these the other day when I was with Gabby and we were filming a video, just because I, I think I remember these. They've been around for a while, but I just hadn't seen them in so long. Um, and I bought a box of them and they were literally gone within like an hour. We were all sat eating them with Poppy and Sean. And then I, I just, they're amazing. They are the most intense flavoured salt and vinegar crisps I've ever had in my life, but they're so good. So if you like salt and vinegar crisps, try those. Really, really good. I got a white flute, which is just a baguette, really. Um, some black bin liners. So um, I got actually got these to put on top of hot chocolates and some chocolate chip cookies for baking and that is pretty much my food shop to be fair. Okay, let's put it away now. So Buzz and Amanda are here now. We're just putting a few more baubles on the tree, making it look all nice and watching some Christmas food programs and having a good old chin wag. It's a little bit later on now and we've completely done the whole of the sitting room so there's no boxes anymore. We've basically made it amazing, haven't we? So here is the mantelpiece. We've got fake with real, which I think is quite a good idea because then you don't need much. And then it means that when they die, you can take out the pieces that, you, that have died and fill it back in with new pieces. So there we go, there's the mantelpiece. We've got little bits of holly on there. Ant and Deck have joined us just, just for this part of the evening. Tree is completely done. We've put lots of little ones in there now. And yeah, I think it looks much, much better. I love it. I really like these little ones because you can put them in on slightly shorter ones. And I also love these. These are from Next, as are a lot of baubles that I have. There we go, those ones. And yeah, this is a bauble that Amanda bought me. Goes very well with my theme. We've got some holly up there. And this bauble my mum got me. This cool like hanging decoration bauble. And there we go. This is what the room looks like now. All tidy. And these are my little advent calendars. My beauty ones. I need to open them. I saved three, basically. If any of you read my blog post, I had a lot of beauty advent calendars. I've kind of given them out to people or just fully opened them all. And these were the three that I really, really liked. Um, so this is the Liberty one, this is the Look Fantastic one, and this is, no, this is Look Fantastic, and this is You Beauty. Um, so this is, these are the three that I'm actually gonna open daily, if I remember, because there are so many advent calendars. But yeah, feeling, feeling very festive now. I love that, it just looks so pretty. Why am I getting so spotty? Oh no. Amanda has gone home now and I am just chilling with Nala who was sat on my lap but because I was typing up a blog post I kept moving and she got really annoyed and in a massive huff went and sat over there which for Nala, why is my TV so loud? Um, is really unlike her because she has to sit on you or touching you. Um, so I really, really annoyed her. Anyway, the blog post I just put live was, let's put it back. Oh. 
Not mince pies, tart Christmas. Um, it's lots of little tart bits and pieces that are Christmassy that arrived to my PO box that I absolutely love so I wanted you guys to see it. Also, if you haven't noticed already, there is snow on my blog. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. So for those of you that don't know, there are also lots and lots of Christmassy blog posts going up across this month. Also, I've done mince pies. Actually, to be fair, I've done quite a few like kind of Christmassy ones already. And there's lots more to come that I've already got in my drafts waiting to go. I just need to kind of type up um, a little bit more in some of them. But yeah, I'm also going to be doing some giveaways on my blog as well. Um, I'm going to post up kind of how the giveaway is going to work and what it's going to be based around soon. So yeah, I just feel like Christmas is a time for giving and I wanted to give you guys a video every single day on my main channel as like a present and I wanted to do Vlogmas and I wanted to do something cool on my blog as well so that there was kind of new content everywhere. I'm talking rubbish because I'm so tired. Alfie has been texting me from his aeroplane. Like, he's been texting me as he's been flying through the sky, which I just find so weird. He's like, yeah, I've got a signal. I'm like, what? But he's just landed in Singapore. He's like texting me lots of pictures and lots of you guys were waiting for him and Marcus at the airport, um, which is so, so lovely. Um, I'm just kind of chilling now. I really love this room. This is probably my favorite room in the house. It's the, we call it the cozy room because we technically have two living rooms because that's more of like the summer living room where the doors open out um, and this is more of like the chilling in the evening with a film on. It just feels more cozy, um, well especially now that we've got the Christmas tree here. Um, so, I'm just chilling, although I am super tired. It's only half past ten, but I'm thinking that I might have to go to bed soon. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm about to go up to bed. And I hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Day 2. It's going to be a really, really busy month. So I've quite enjoyed having this kind of down day um, to myself with Nala, of course. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also subscribe. Bye! Mwah. Is that not the best thing you've ever seen in your life? It's like Christmas has vomited on you and you're loving it. <laughs> you're gonna love this, but it's kind of why we haven't come before. Yay, yay.